A gorgeous summer night on the shores of Lake Ontario. It's the first day of August. The Blue Bombers are first in the West, and the Argos are still looking for their first win. Welcome to BMO Field. Hey, listen to this, man. Listen to this. You got to breathe the same breath, man. You got to breathe the same breath. You got to say the same things. You got to see the same things. You got to feel the same things. It's our house. And it's our time, man. Believe it, man. Believe it. Feel it. All night long, man. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Diversity means, I think, being your best in the darkest days, when, uh, when either no one's watching or when there's very little hope, you know, being at your best and expecting the best from yourself and striving for excellence, um, even in those moments. So, um, diversity, we've had a lot of that this year, and I think we've all been pushed to our limit. What's YouTube? What's your YouTube channel? It's Jacqueline here. It's Jacqueline here. Follow, I'm telling you, great content. My girl Jack are making moves, business moves. We visited Holland Blue Review. Um, those are children that can't even leave the hospital, but to actually bring the fun to them and seeing their smiles, man, it, that's, that's what does it for me. I think that's what does it for all of us. Going into the, that children's hospital is always a, a humbling and, and kind of emotional time. You go in and just see kids that are dealing with much bigger things than yourself. And so I just try to go in with an open mind and try to be as present for the kids as possible. And I met a kid named Marcus who a year ago was, was playing football, you know, and, and goes in and has a tumor in his back, gets surgery on his spine and ends up losing the feeling and the, and the movement in his legs. And just sitting with him for about an hour and talking about how much he misses the game of football is, is extremely humbling and, and it makes you appreciate that you get to go out each, each day and each week to play football. And, so um, what we're going through is nothing compared to what Marcus is going through. So just to see him and to see his strength and to see the light in his eyes and, and just to see him get up each day and, and attack life for what it is and, and the way he's dealing with it is, is really inspiring. And uh, we go there and people say, oh, you're, you're so kind and so nice to show up. And really the gifts are from the kids to us. We get to see their strength and their power. And, and um, it's really impressive what they, what they go through and how they handle it. Coming off the bye week in Winnipeg, we really thought we had turned the corner and talking about adversity. We, we thought we had faced everything that this season could possibly throw at us at that point. Um, and we had turned it around and now we're going to go on the win streak. And then going into Edmonton, we got to go punch in the mouth again at home, which was a surprise. And um, then the you know tough one in Moncton and then the, the game in, in Hamilton where we felt like we were up and we were going to run away with it were three really hard blows that um, they definitely hurt each each as much each time and it was like pushing a boulder up trying to get your momentum each week and you know recover from the loss We're like why you know how are we going to come back how are we going to respond to this but everyone kind of pulled together and uh, we got that boulder up somehow we got up for the next week and so to lose again was, was frustrating and then to lose again was frustrating we have all the lessons in our back pocket we have all the experiences we have all the the uh, mistakes that you can possibly make i think we've run out of ways to lose a football game we've been here before We've been here before. We should all have a little edge to us. We should all have a little edge, right? We've been here before. We don't have to do that feeling anymore. Now lose the for the fucking birds. All right? Someone's got the fucking heart of a fucking stake in our heart. We're all dogs. We're leashed to that We're all dogs. We're leashed to that losing feeling. That feeling where we don't want that no more. We've been pulling in different directions. We can't get the stake out. Everyone pull together. from Alden Darby and at the goal
goes extremely. There was not even anyone there for the offensive line to block. What did you see from the Bear, man? Bear's timeless. You know, when your name's Bear and you live in the woods like he does, I mean, Bear's timeless. I mean, uh, he understands football. He understands where he is in his career. He knows there's not five years left on it. So he's enjoying every moment, and he's playing to the fullest. And you know, I really appreciate the, uh, the leadership qualities that he's brought to that locker room. When I got the call to come back up, there were, you know, several teams, and, uh, and I wanted to be in Toronto. I called Toronto. There's the backstory. I wanted to be here. You know, I knew where the team was at with, with the record. And if I was going to come all the way back up to Canada, I wanted to play with my brothers here in Double Blue. That's really the truth of it. And whatever my role would be, I was willing to humbly accept it. And uh, also when my opportunity came, I know that I'm still the player I've always had been when I step on the field. And that's productive. Once again, I, I wanted to be here. Like when you want to be somewhere, I mean, there's a passion already. Like let me in this fight. That's, I wanted to be in this fight wherever the season goes. I, I knew the glory that we could achieve you know, if we turn this thing around. And as far as seeing me on the field, I would like to think that's the bear you always see on the football field. And as far as, you know, I was asked that I expect to have that impact, the answer is yes, I can tackle. I, since I was six years old, it's a mentality to it. I want to make every tackle. And then when you throw on top of my personal want that I don't want to let my brothers down, there's a different level of passion. You see that during the football game that, you know, there's no, no other guys that, I, I mean, I can think of the guys that gives me chill bumps to think of the guys I get to play with. And being a 10-year veteran in pro football, you cherish these moments a whole lot more. I love you guys, man. I'm telling you, this is right where I wanted to be. Period. Double blue. Shane. Yes, sir. Iron sharpens iron, man. Hey, you letting the light. <laughs> telling you, man. Don't rush it. We're right here. Hey, within the chaos, greatness is created. Amen. We've done it once. We can do it what, Chain? Yeah. Yeah. This is the beginning. This actually means nothing. This is one small step. We got a lot to get better at, man, if we even gonna make a run of any kind. That's we got right. a lot to get That's better right. at. That's right. That's right. Open the film up. Challenge yourself. If you want to go the distance, that's what it's going to take. If you want to have a short-term feeling, get the bye week, get all laid up, whatever. But if you want to put it in, we got seven games left. Mm -hmm. I can tell you seven games. This will live for you the rest of your life, man. You will never get this feeling. I don't care where you go. You can ask any coach in here. It ain't the same camaraderie as what we have right here. I love y'all, man. Double blue. No. Family. I want you to say it. Let's go, man. Family on three, y'all. One, two, three. Family! Yeah!